Malaki Radio with an Irish accent. This is Misha Dayo Sullivan. And this is Misha Siobhan Kieran. I'm Siobhan Kieran. We have guest Paul Crilly from Morris's uh, Irish Bar on Lake Street. And we have special requests from a couple of members of the Hounds of Finn. Or is it Hounds of Finn? Is Hounds. Hounds of Finn. No, you. <laughs> Michelle McGregor and uh, Pete McCauley. Irish and Scots. Right. <laughs> so, welcome, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, and then uh, also our good friend Heather is here joining us in the studio. She's a friend of the show and a friend of Malarkey as well, so a big shout-out to Heather. Thanks very much for joining us tonight. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. <laughs> and uh, we also have Hounds of Finn manager. Hey, Kate. Kate. I'm sorry, Kate. <laughs> Nick, Nick <Christen>. Too many people. <laughs> we got a full house, which is marvellous. We just we, love it, yeah. We have just enough chairs. We're good. Okay. Uh-huh. Kate can sit on my knee. <laughs> I'm disappointed now. <laughs> so, H- Hounds of Finn, uh, what, what, what kind of a name is that? What, what's it all about? Well, the Hounds of Finn comes from a legend, a legend of uh, Finn McCool. In, uh, uh, Finn McCool is a legendary giant from Antrim. And uh, the, as legend has it, he sleeps underneath the ground in, in Ireland and, and awaits the day where he's needed to come and defend defend the country so uh but there are many legends written about finn mccool and one of them is about uh the magical hounds of finn there were two particular hunting hounds that he had that uh came from um a, tr- a strange story where his his one of his favorite aunts were was turned into a hound by an evil witch and uh when she was turned into the the into a hound she was she was pregnant and at the time she stayed the a dog hound was she was pregnant or the, the witch uh, apparently the, the the aunt the aunt the, was pregnant when she was turned into a hound and oh. so she gave birth to two magical pups that should have been human and even though she was rescued and turned back into her human self later on uh, the two the two pups stayed as hounds, and they, they had magical qualities that seemed as though they were human. See, that's so. not a legend. That's true. That, right. Well, <laughs> and depending that, on where you come from and what your experience <laughs> is. yeah. And that was Pete McCauley filling us in on some mythology, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and there are lots of great stories about Finn McCool and uh, the Fenian cycle and uh-huh. all that. So. What, what's your take on it, uh, Michelle? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good enough for me. How about you, Siobhan? Is good enough for you? Well, you know where I stand on it, David. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely 100% true. <laughs> All right, so why don't we have a little piece of music because I'm sure the listeners are just waiting. All right. And uh, just introduce should it. Should we do a tune? Or sh- want to do a tune here? A little whiskey? A little whiskey. Should we do a little whiskey? <laughs> We're just going to do a little tune here to warm up uh, for everybody. This is called Whiskey Before Breakfast. <laughs> wake up Finn McCool yeah. uh, Michelle I have to ask you uh, about the, the bare feet I know now why why you don't wear shoes when you're playing the yeah. uh, I've, I, been, I've been called thumper I, I thought it was Mr. Crilly was banging the floor it was you 
Okay. Hello. Hello. That so that's called that's called a carry leg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't stop it. I like that. Yeah. yeah so that's got a case of the carry legs. But it's uh, I mean you don't need a drummer. No problem. <laughs> Okay. That was wonderful. So that was whiskey before breakfast. I like that. <laughs> I like it Which on so many different levels. Every once in a while. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you wake up in the morning, you just need a real good jolt, and maybe an espresso <laughs> won't do it. Before, during, and after breakfast. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Now, j- just before we came on the air, I was going to ask you, actually, to introduce the other band members, but you had some news for us. It was kind of out of, out of left field. So do you want to huh. talk about that a little? Yeah, well, you know, uh, we when when the band was started, it was myself and and a fellow named Leslie Rich, another singer songwriter, who's originally from Belfast. And uh, Leslie has been a part of the band for many years, but he decided earlier this year that he wanted to step down from this group to uh, to pursue really kind of his own thing, doing a little more of his own solo material, his own original music, which he didn't feel fit as so well with the Celtic vibe that we've that we've got going on with the hounds of finn so uh so earlier this year he approached me and he said you know i just i'm feeling like i I really want to do something different so he said what do you what do you need me to do and i said well let's we've got a lot of shows booked through the end of september so why don't you stick up with it through the end of september and then after that things are going to slow down which they, they do for us normally at which time we can start looking into uh, talking to other folks and exploring some new opportunities. So, so Leslie finished up with us at the end of September, and we've been working with some other amazing musicians that we met throughout the, uh, the country. Uh, we've been lucky enough to play festivals and, and conferences and concerts around the country, and so we've met a lot of great musicians, and we've been working with a number of them. Um, and then on the, uh, at the same time, our friend David, the Boron player, has decided that he wanted to step down as well. Um, he also has some interest on, on his own that he would like to pursue, and um, so he's feeling that he probably would like to do something even more traditional than what we're looking to do. So... Okay. So we're in a transitional phase now. Uh, Michelle and I are, are hoping that we can reassemble a, a roster of musicians that will help us to move forward, uh, especially with the concert and festival right. shows that we've been doing over the last couple of years. So. I, I'm sure there's going to be a... They're already lining up at your door, right? Eh? We've got a number of people that we would like to play with, and they're all interested. So yeah, things are definitely looking good. It's, just, a, it's actually really exciting. It, yeah. It's really exciting to see what, what uh, might come of this yeah like one door closes and exactly here comes the next to open but you'll wide you'll, open will you uh develop a new sound or will you kind of likely, stay with yeah likely okay. it won't yep. be the same sound because yeah. you know, we've Obviously. lost we've lost some people but right. um it'll be it'll be new but the thing is i mean pete and i are still here and we have a lot to put into it so no matter who it is it's still going to have our flavor to it and it's still it's still going to be the house yep uh, yeah. it's not it's not going to be uh you know 180 degrees It'll be more like, you know, 47. Okay, we're looking forward to it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we, we'll come back and play uh, another tune in a little while. But first of all, we want to go over here to Mr. Crilly. Yeah, Paul Crilly. I'll tell you, Paul's a good friend of our show and he's a good friend of ours too. So, Paul, welcome. Thanks very much for coming down again. Yeah, thanks very much for having me. We had Paul on there oh, right, probably six accent. months ago. I know. <laughs> and he's unfortunately not from Drogheda. <laughs> he's, from, he's from the north of Paul, Ireland. tell us a wee bit about where you're from. Um, I'm from Derry City, which uh, any of you don't know, it's, it's just over the border in the, the north of Ireland, right beside Donegal. And how long have you been in the States now? You know, 20-something years. I, I kind of oh. lost track over, yeah. over time. <laughs> That's so, the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, be, before you left, just a quick question. Did, did you grow up in the, in the Troubles? Uh, I, I, I actually moved to Derry when I was 10 years of age. I, I lived in Monaghan before then. Oh, Okay, so, so I, you yeah, I I got I was there for most of the troubles. Yeah. So you threw a few stones. I threw a few stones, is right. Yeah, <laughs> okay. still throw a few stones. <laughs> that wouldn't surprise me one bit. Mm. <laughs> so there's a couple of things that we want to talk about with Paul, but um, you know, one of them is the CD release party, but the other one is actually an event that you have coming up before the CD release party, and that's actually this day next week. Tell us a wee bit about that. <laughs> The uh, the for the uh, children's uh, grief connection. Now, yeah. should should yeah. we oh. tell? Is this this is uh, should we tell that young people shouldn't be listening? Or because <laughs> I, I, I have a, I have an idea what this is going to be about. Oh, trust me, oh, everybody no. who sees daytime television, even All evening right. television, would be absolutely fine with this. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, we we have an event coming up on the Monday the twenty fourth at seven o'clock. Um, it's a calendar release. 
And uh, our bar manager at the pub, Abe Popowitz, his mother actually runs a charity. It's the Children's Grief Connection. Uh, it, it, it's a camp that they have for, for kids affected by grief. And quite often times, children are often forgotten about in the middle of all the... Uh, in the middle of, of all the goings on. So we decided we wanted to do something to help with the charity and this this is totally staff driven and the staff felt like maybe let's do a calendar. And <laughs> it's, it's not an original idea, it's been done before but... Uh, now, wait, is this one of those naked calendars? You know, I would, I would, I would say it's about a PG-13. Okay. <laughs> like it's a half full Monty. Yeah. yeah. A, half, a half a full Monty. We actually did the full Monty 10 years ago down in uh, O'Donovan's <laughs> with Mr. Dermot Cowley. Oh, uh, uh, no. But th- 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 this, I'd say, would be a PG-13. Um, you know, the girls were models for a day. They did their makeup and hair and dressed up, and the, the, the guys kind of jumped in and did their bit as well. Not half as pretty or beautiful, but... <laughs> We yeah. did. We did our part. Cal- calendars will be at twenty dollars on the on the night. Um, they can be pre-ordered through the pub or the Children's Grief Connection, and uh, we will have live music and drink specials all night long. So. Oh, great! A little bit of crack, yeah. And yeah. I did have a sneak peek at the calendar, and I have to say, it it's did? very tasteful. Okay. It's very fun, and you know, like the Irish, they like a bit of crack. I would say it's a calendar with a bit of crack. That makes sense. Like a little bit of fun, a little bit of festivity. Yeah, tongue, okay. tongue yeah. in cheek. Yeah. If my mother was alive, would she approve? <laughs> <laughs> Would I be able to take it home to her? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah you could. I mean, you I might could. have a wee bit of explaining to do, but yeah. <laughs> once you see that it's for the children's grief connection, yes. you're, you know, you're going to be totally fine. Yeah. But no, it's it a is. It's a, it's a very good cause, and 100% of the yeah. proceeds are actually going to the camp. Well done, Paul, yeah. and to you and your partners. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Let's go back to uh, have a little piece of music before we have a halftime uh, card show. You guys... Um, All right. <laughs> Give us, tell us what you're going to play. This is a uh, Declipe. It's a tune, a tune set that I wrote a few years back under the redwood trees, the redwood forests in California. Thank you. 
Go to the bus. Everybody sit down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I didn't bring my lampshade tonight. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you, you wrote that, Michelle? I wrote that, yeah. What did you call it again? The clipe. The Which clipe. is a Scottish slang for tattletale. Ta- oh, okay. And then uh, that's the first tune, and then the second tune was Paddy Wagon. Which we kind of composed on the spot at a gig at Paddy Wagons. A place called Paddy Wagons. Uh, it would no longer exist. No longer there, but... <laughs> but <laughs> the but it was great. There, it, was, it was there. great. And improv. then back into the... the Irish climate. improv, okay. Wow. Irish improv. That was yeah. very exciting. Well, we're going <laughs> to take a short break and be right back. Uh, oh, there we are now. Thank you. That's been great. Yeah, we just have as much fun during the break as we do during the I show. Know, <laughs> I know, I know. And you're listening to Malarkey Radio with an Irish accent. It's Mr. Dario Sulaban. It's Mr. Siobhan Kiran. I'm Siobhan Kearns. And in, in, we have in, in-house our guests are uh, two members of Hounds of Finn, mm-hmm. Michelle mm-hmm. McGregor and Paul McCauley. Uh, Pete. Oh, Pete. Pete, yep. Pete McCauley. Peter. Uh, That's right. I've been Peter. called <laughs> Peter McCauley. Uh, you, 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 your mom calls you Peter, but everybody else calls That's you true. Pete. <laughs> and uh, we also have Mr. Paul uh, Crilly from Derry and also from Morrissey's Irish Pub on Main, on uh, Lake Street, who will be uh, hosting our CD release party. Yeah, absolutely. So now we're going to talk about the talk CD about release party. Oh, my God, well. we're going to just bust, David, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, Paul, uh, we, had, we were chatting there on Friday and we were talking about the CD release party, which is going to be a lot of fun. So it's on the 8th of December, which is a couple of weeks after your event. Yep. And, um, you know, one thing that I, I like about um, Morrissey's is that it has a little area there so that the bands will be able to play. It's so, called a stage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> so, um, so we have, uh, our CD has got 14 uh, different, different tracks from local musicians. And uh, this is a big thank you as well to our friends at New Folk Records as well for helping putting this together. Yes. And then it's also got Ken. three original tracks. From myself and yourself, David. Yeah, <laughs> the, the best. The, those are the best tracks on the CD. Yeah, even I know, if we say so I ourselves. I don't like bragging, but you're right. You know, know. but when you're right, you're right. <laughs> Storytelling. We're not singing. Not you can well. be. You can thank your lucky stars for that. I thought. I thought you were going to rap something for us. Well, mm. <laughs> we just might. <laughs> So, um, Paul, tell us um, a wee bit about how people can get to the pub because, again, your event is on 11.24, ours is on 12.8. So give us kind of like the directions and where it is and how people can find it. Well, we're on Lake Street, uh, as David said. We're, on, uh, we're between uh, Bryant and Colfax, which is uh, across the street from the Bryant Lake Bowl, basically. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, and parking sometimes can be an issue in uptown, but... Uh, in the blue apartment uh, complex across the street, there's underground parking, and there should be plenty of street parking. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of street. I've never found yeah. a problem down there. Yeah, because yes. uh, you know, it depends on the weather. But we'll 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 keep our fingers crossed and we'll <laughs> say a few prayers for the weather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to have uh, some bands playing on that night. And David, you've got a wee bit of information about who's actually playing that night. I do. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Laura McKenzie and Martin McHugh playing solo and together. They were supposed to be our guests last uh, last week, but the weather. Oh, yeah, that's away. right. The weather went sideways yeah. on us. Yeah, but they're, they're, uh, Laura's coming up from Northfield and Martin's coming over from St. Paul. And we also have... A big uh, announcement to make. <laughs> no, we have the Wild Colonial Boys. Oh, yeah. And, I th- I'm and go- then we have I'm, a big I'm going to stick to my uh, nose out here and say, would you guys like to come yeah, and play? Yeah, the Finn will be represented Absolutely, there as well. Yep. So. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, all right, so we got so, four. I should yeah. probably say that we've played Morrissey's a number of times, and it's a great, great venue. And it's it is. really, love it. It's one of the best places in Uptown to hang out. We They've are, got great food there as well. Oh, yes, the so food so. is absolutely yeah. great. The and, fish and chips are unbelievable. And the burgers. But we're going to have a ton of fun uh, on the 8th of December. We're, Santa Claus is going to be there. Cool. My brother is coming all the way from Ireland. <laughs> and his, uh, yep, he's coming all the way is from Ireland. Go, is that going on expenses? or? <laughs> Anyway. Yes, David, thanks very much, and I appreciate you picking up the tab for that. <laughs> but he is actually coming. He's, he's arriving on Friday night, and oh, he's going to stay a week. Yeah, yeah, so he's going to be, be there. Okay, himself, and my brother yeah. is coming too, okay? <laughs> is he a tall, good-looking chap who looks just <laughs> oh, like yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah then is, I know it's is. malarkey. Yeah. <laughs> She's got your number. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a tough crowd here. <laughs> you have no idea, Paul. Okay. Huh? And this I mean, is us being nice to each this other. This is being nice, and we, we have to tone it down because we're on the air. 
Is everybody's listening? So yeah, we've got this East Coast West Coast rivalry oh, going okay. on, and so yeah, obviously the East Coast is the best, but you know, I'm just I'm biased. You know, I have to be honest. Last week I did the show on my own. You were taking some time <laughs> off shoveling snow, and it, I, I, it just didn't work. It just yeah. didn't. Talking to myself in here is, doesn't work. So. Imbalanced. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. See, if, you, if you're nice, you know, things work out. We've got a nice you know? little dysfunctional relationship going. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but we are looking forward to this. The CD um, release party was part of the fundraiser that we did for KFAI, which is, of course, our station here. Yeah. And um, our mothership. people can still support KFAI. You know, you can do it as low as $10 a month, or you can do any increment. You can, you know, just give a small little donation here to the station. Right. And, uh, you know, we do want to thank our partners who again is you know Morrissey's in Uptown for helping facilitate yeah. this event because it is a fundraiser for KFAI but we're welcoming all of our uh, prior guests and our right. friends of the show so and it'll you, be a good old time yeah. and if, <laughs> if you great. donate at uh, $10 a month you get to be a VIP that's during the right party. and you get to show up yep. a wee bit early like and, and uh, hobnob with the, pl- with the yeah. musicians <laughs> and us David don't forget oh, yeah, that right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure you want to be talking about that <laughs> 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 okay, so uh, we are. Can you believe it? We're almost done. There's only five minutes left in the show. Time flies when it you're does. having fun. Um, I, I have some announcements to make. Yeah. Uh, and I actually, I've got one or two something? myself. Okay, do you want to go first? <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to say a big shout out to Mark. Mark is a friend of ours and a, a, somebody who has donated to our show before. And he just moved out to the East Coast, but he's listening to us online tonight. And it's his daughter's birthday today. So we do want to say a big hi to Mark. Hey. So he's listening to us online. That's yeah. good. Yeah, you can, yeah. You can listen Mark. online. Hi, Mark. Yeah. Hi, Mark. <laughs> hi, Mark. Over there in East Coast. Okay. <laughs> And then you were saying, too, there's a weather advisory. Oh, there's a, yeah, tonight, oh. guys, don't mm. go out. It's going to be minus mm. something, 10 or something, wind chill. <laughs> so don't go out anymore. Yeah, just we're, stay we're in all, a nice, warm pub. We're all stuck yeah. here for the night, by the way. This program is <laughs> probably a four-hour program. <laughs> okay. Going. Yeah. Anyway, the Irish Music and Dance Association party in honor of Laura McKenzie, that's November the 22nd. Small donation suggested, and you're asked to bring a dessert. Check um, www.irishmusician.com. Irish Music and Dance Association dot org. That's the longest URL <laughs> on the internet. Um, Black Bear Crossings uh, on the Lake is closing, and that's. Have you got you guys know that place? It's no. you know. Is it? Como, yeah. yeah, it's fabulous. Oh, I do. It's closing it. down. Yeah, oh, and and they're holding a series of events for the remainder of this month, including a free Thanksgiving dinner on the twenty seventh. Shavar and I will be there, <laughs> and a dance recital on the thirtieth. Uh, which looks so check our uh, Malaki Online uh, dot com uh, calendars. You know, all the stuff is up there. Absolutely. So just uh, you know, cowboy up. We're Minnesotans. And then not to forget that, uh, of course, on this coming Monday, the Children's Grief Connection event down at Morrissey's with the pub. On twenty fourth. Yeah, that would be this coming Monday. Isn't it? Am I off? Yeah, it is. The 24th. Yeah. This coming it's Monday. Up in a week. I know. <laughs> I know. It's okay, Paul. It'll be I, <laughs> seen, uh, I'm normally a week behind on anyway, so yeah. so. <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll be coming up. Yeah, so that's another thing. And we'll also post some stuff on Facebook about that as well. Yeah. I'm planning and on heading down there and having a bit of fun. And next week we have the Wild Colonial Boys, yeah. who will also be um, at the CD release party. But I got a question for you guys. Uh, when we were preparing for these shows, I, I checked out your website, you know, just try and find out about you. So I m- make, yeah. <laughs> make intelligent questions, you know, that kind of stuff. And I discovered that you are the best American Celtic rock band in the Twin Cities. And over on the Wild Colonial Boys site, they are the best. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> so how can you have two best? It's like the t- you know it's like the ads on TV for cars. Everything is the best. Well, you know, we basically we got together about six years ago. Adam Kulong and and uh, and I we basically we sat down. We said we're going to share this title. Okay. <laughs> So we, we laid it out. We figured out, you know, how many times each one of us could put it up then at certain, you know, points. And uh, we had it all. We had a very planned schedule out. It was really great. And then we just decided, ah, you know, it's open season. So. Okay, right. So we'll, we'll ask Adam next week. We're basically, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're all the best. Yeah. You know what's great about this town is we've got so much incredible talent here. Absolutely. And so, yeah. you know, yeah. we're, well we're lucky to be surrounded by so many incredible okay. musicians just yeah. like the Wild Colonial Boys and a lot of other bands. So, so they, can were, you? they were voted by Vitamin as oh, the best live band yeah. in the Twin Cities. 
Kate's last summer. Oh. This is Kate. This is the yes. manager She's putting so, a plug in. Can, can oh, we have that yeah. again, Kate, please? Over there, Kate. Forgetting about Vita. Hi, it's Andy. Kate, the manager. <laughs> um, the Hounds were voted the best live band in the Twin Cities by the uh, readers of Vitamin, which is the uh, Star Tribune's entertainment service, oh, in okay. August of last year, and we're up at the top of that poll f- until October. October, so that's the reference on the Hounds website to their to their best band status. And and the website is houndsoffin. Houndsoffin. dot com. Okay. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right. So can you guys string together enough music to take us out of the show for We're about sure. two I minutes? Think Paul wants to make a quick note before we get out. Yep. You want to say something? No, no I, w- I was going to say that uh, Gino Carlson doesn't play with the Colonial Boys anymore. So She's you're 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 you're, you're well. both looking for musicians. Maybe the Wild oh. Colonial <laughs> Hounds. We should just team up. Wild, wild Hounds. I you said. Yeah. Okay. Hounds of boys. So we're going to play out with. What, what are we going to play out with, guys? We'll play a little bit of a song that I wrote called Twenty Demons" to take this one out. Twenty Demons. And Stay tuned. This is an original song that's got a tune in it. Take it away, Michelle. (laughs) Leaving out upon the old king's highway, twenty demons on my trail. Sing a song that I will sing forever If I live to tell the tale and Though these demons have gotten me running I know each one of them by name And if I meet up with greed or hatred I know just how to play the game You might say it's my imagination Tell me that's all in my head over the hallucination There is a real night and day These 20 demons 20 demons 20 demons Everybody in the building is awake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 